What is the difference between a DNA mutation and a DNA variant? Did you know that you're a mutant? Don't worry, I am too. In fact, all living things could be considered mutants, since DNA mutations occur often during the natural process of DNA replication. The human body contains over 30 trillion cells that constantly divide as we grow and age. Some even divide in just a few hours. Every time this happens, the genomic DNA is copied to create two new cells through a process called DNA replication. Even though cell division and DNA replication are carefully controlled processes, errors can occasionally occur. These errors, called mutations, result in changes to the original genomic DNA sequence. Environmental conditions, such as ultraviolet radiation from the sun, can lead to mutations. Most times, mutations are recognized and repaired by the cell, but sometimes the mutation becomes a permanent change in the cell's DNA sequence. When a DNA mutation becomes permanent, it is called a DNA variant. DNA variants can have a variety of effects on biological functions. Where the variant occurs in the cell's genomic DNA sequence can change the cell's gene expression, gene regulation, or protein functions. In some instances, DNA variants cause little or no change to cellular function, and therefore no significant changes to the organism. In other instances, these changes can shift the functions of the cell, but big changes don't always mean bad things. These changes could be beneficial, neutral, or harmful to the organism, depending on the DNA variant. Depending on the type of cell the original DNA mutation occurred in, the variant may be isolated to the individual or it may be passed down from generation to generation, contributing to a genetic variation within the population. And this contributes to the colorful and diverse world in which we all live.